and welcome to our ESC guided tour of our Lewis campus. My name's Dan and I'm really giving you a whistle stop tour of our amazing facilities here in the heart of Lewis. We're going to be showing you all our A levels, all our creative, all our art, all our performing arts and many, many more. We hope this is engaging, informative and we hope you find out more about our Lewis campus. This is ESC Lewis. We love our A-level courses and we're so lucky here at East Sussex College Lewis to have the widest range, the widest option of A-level courses for you to study at. No matter what you're interested, I can guarantee you there is a course for you. Now you might be interested in science, well right now we're in one of our science labs. And East Sussex College, we are so, so proud of our science department. We recently put in a lot of money to get these labs renovated to have top range equipment for you to help you with your career. Now whether you're interested in biology, chemistry or physics, we are here to help you into that career path, to help you get to university like many of our former students. Now if you're not interested in science, don't worry, we're going to talk about other A-level courses in just a moment. But our A-level students have a lot of opportunities, a lot of chances to do other things around the campus, including a recent Hustings event that took place here at East Sussex College Lewis. I didn't really know what to expect when I was in there, but I'm glad I did because um, I didn't have a, a broad idea of what was what's going on with the whole thing. Because it gets so diluted in media and everything, and I think your opinion could be massively swayed. But actually seeing them and the, and the politicians themselves and their ideas gives you a massive insight of actually what's going on. Brilliant, brilliant. I mean, it was very interesting towards the end when everybody really sort of wanted to have a proper debate. I didn't know so much about like the actual statistics and the facts and stuff like that, so it was interesting to get an insight on the actual, like the, the real stuff, like the real sort of amounts of homeless people for example, like all that type of stuff, that was very eye-opening. One of my friends signed me up for it, so, uh, but I'm glad I did, because um, I wasn't hugely, I didn't have a, a broad idea of what was, what's going on with the whole thing. We need to work on our future, uh, whether it be on the climate or budgeting for education and for the NHS in itself. If I ask a question of mental health and how the NH what the NHS is going to do and how they're going to fund it, um, particularly personal through family and friends, um, it's a massive issue. No, I was split between Labour and Lib Dems, uh, and I think I will be voting Labour uh, just because I think their policies are stronger. I had slight ideas and for, for who and who I don't like, but um, it's been so up in the air that I hadn't thought of who I wanted to vote for and what policies are what policies and what's the right choice. And, but um, I think now coming out from it and how they've come across has definitely helped me decide if, who I wanted to vote for. Hello, I'm Mir and I helped to organise the hustings today at Lewis. I really wanted to organise the hustings because it gets the students involved and encourages them to vote in their elections. I thought, I thought it went really well, um, all the students were very engaged. 
it's so good seeing just some of the things you can get up to while studying here, doing your A-levels at East Sussex College Lewis. Now, I could tell you about all of the A-levels, but sadly we don't have time for that. But I can tell you we do A-level media, A-level psychology, A-level sport, A-level history, geography, A-level maths, film studies, and so much more. So let me encourage you, head over to escg.ac.uk to find out more about the courses. Now this is one of our A-level rooms. As you see, it's bright, it's airy, it's modern. We've got the latest smart board equipment installed to help you with your studies here in A-levels. The other thing we love here at East Sussex College Lewis is our mini fest. Every year we have it right here on this campus where we have students taking part, we have Jack Maynard taking part, Amelia Lilly, Ministry of Sound all taking part and here are some of the best bits. We love Minifest, we can't wait for it to return. If you're interested in art, we love our arts here at East Sussex College Lewis. In fact, we produce award-winning artwork like this right here. This has won many, many awards. And if you're interested in being creative, if you're interested in the world of art, this is the place for you to be. You don't have to always think inside the box. Our students are often thinking outside of the box. And we're gonna show you one of our workspaces and show you some of the courses that you can study here whilst at East Sussex College Lewis, starting with fashion. Maybe you wanna be a designer. Maybe you wanna be an innovator. Maybe you wanna be part of a fashion show. Well, this is a place where you can put your skills to the test. You can learn all about the techniques that you need for the world of fashion. Maybe you're into printmaking. Well, we've actually just invested in some brand new equipment right here, which you can use. You're gonna be one of the first to use it. And the other thing that's great is we'll give you the facilities to do so. But if you're interested in fashion, printmaking, maybe you're interested in pottery or sculpting. As you can see right here, this is just some of the work that our students have been producing, using their ideas and putting them into some amazing work. I love this one, I think this is incredible. Um, but they're, they're able to push the limits on the world of art. Maybe you want to be using a paintbrush and some paint. Maybe you, you would call yourself a bit old school in that sense. Well, we also produce amazing artworks like you can see just here. And these are all produced by our students that go on and win competitions like in the Royal Opera House. Maybe you want to be a photographer, then I encourage you to study at East Sussex College Lewis. Not only do our students make amazing work, not only do they make amazing pictures, but we've also got amazing facilities, including a fantastic top of the range dark room, which is at your disposal when you want to use it. But don't just take my word for it. Let's meet the head of art, Andrew Williamson, to tell us a little bit more. At Lewis, we've got a tremendous set of teachers and that's one of our great strengths. So we've got subject experts in each area who have got industry experience of working in their area, sometimes as artists, sometimes as designers, sometimes as filmmakers, and many of them have had success in their area as independent photographers or video makers or as actors, people working in the industry. And they bring that experience and that passion for their subject to working with you when you apply with us. If you apply to come and do some work in the art and design department at Lewis, you're going to want to have an interview before you come. Maybe before that, you'll even come round on open evening and have a look at the work that you see on, on show. I guarantee you're going to enjoy it and you're going to think it's of a very high standard, but don't be daunted by it because you are going to go even further. And the most important thing to think about is what you can do and to remember that you are the culture, you're the next steps. So what we'd like you to do is if you're coming for an art and design interview, bring a portfolio of your work, 
don't worry if you think it's not very good. Don't worry if you don't think you've got enough. Don't worry if you've got a few photos on your camera phone. Just bring whatever you've got, some scraps of paper, your sketchbooks, as much as you can because the person that's going to be interviewing you will get more and more information from your sketchbook and find out more about you the more they see. So as interviewed, you're going to meet someone who's going to talk to you about your work, find out which course you want to go on and guide you through that process. There's really nothing to be worried about. So if we have a look at some of the paintings that have been done in this room, this is Fine Art AS, and these paintings were actually painted upside down because working upside down is a, a way that students can learn how to distance themselves from the image and then produce something that is structurally much more developed and much more integral to what they want. It's a trick that artists have used, or a technique that artists have used for hundreds of years, but you've probably never heard about it or never thought about doing it before. And that's the kind of inside information that you will get as a skill, as a teaching experience when you come to this college. I think confidence is one of the real things that's most difficult for young people. And we make sure at Lewis, whether you're doing fine art, whether you're doing graphics, whether you're doing art and design, whether you're doing photography, drama, theatre studies, media, dance, performing arts, music, whatever, all of our creative subjects, you're going to get someone that's going to work with you one-to-one -one and give you that encouragement and support to really be the best you can be. It's amazing how many creative subjects that are on offer here at East Sussex College Lewis. And one course that you might not think is creative, but definitely is, is hairdressing. The hairdressing industry is always evolving, always changing. And one of the things we love is to help you as a young person go into your future if you want to become a hairstylist. Whether that's in a salon, a barber, or theatre, or on TV, we're going to give you the platform to help you with your career. Now we've got this station here, we've got another one next door, and we've got another one after that as well, so there's plenty of space. And we've got the facilities, the equipment, the resources that you need to succeed in your career. Now follow me, I'm going to show you some other little bits and pieces in the world of beauty. Upstairs we've got two salons. And we make sure that we have members of the public coming in. So you're doing treatments on live people, on real people that are paying customers. That's just upstairs in our other salon. You'll also see we are called Evolve Eco Hair and Beauty. Why is that? Well, we want to make sure we are eco-friendly. We want to be making sure we are giving back to the environment. We make sure that there's no animal cruelty involved in our products. We want to make sure there's no nasty chemicals in our products. And that's why we here at Evolve Eco hold an eco status. Now this room right here, this is our media makeup room. We've got 10 different workstations for you to hone your skills at. Whether you want to be working at a salon, whether you want to be working in theatre, TV, or anything like that, this is going to be the place where you can hone your craft. And one of the things that we love is we post out all of their work on social media. So give us a follow on social media, you can see all that they get up to. One of the other things I think is amazing is East Sussex College, we're a group of colleges and we have tutors that will do workshops here in Lewis that teach in Hastings and vice versa, teachers that work in Lewis and do workshops in Hastings. So we want to make sure we are sharing that skill set. And so if you're interested in makeup, then why not take a look at this course? Now it's not just about learning in the classroom, we encourage students to take part in competitions. That's why our students every year get the chance to enter the World Schools competition and Rebecca West has done that recently. She entered the competition and she won gold in beauty therapy. I know from everyone at East Sussex we are very, very proud of Rebecca West and how far she's gone in life. This is her story. My name's Rebecca and I'm the world's best beauty therapist for 2019. We flew out, I think it was the 19th of August and um, we had a couple days where we did the opening ceremony we did like a familiarization we went out and did like a excursion and um, stuff like that and then we were competing for four days um, so it was two full days two full days for me and two half days um, I did a bit of everything so it was massage nails lashes makeup hair removal just a mixture of every beauty therapy um, skill you could do and then after that we had the closing ceremony, we had a few little parties and just just a celebration to say that we'd done it. Um, but yeah, that was it and then we flew home. We had three or four judges per area, so I was in a group of six and these three judges would walk around while we were doing the treatments and 
they'd have their own marking scheme and they'd tick off if we'd done something and then we have to call them over if we, they want to check something and then again they tick it. Um, so it was a judge from each country just to make it fair so they'd only judge everyone else, not their competitor. So they'd call up the top three. So they call up just your countries and you have to go onto the stage and you're standing there waiting for them to announce third, second and first. So Korea was third, she went on and me and China were standing there, we had no clue and then obviously they called China so then I realised I'd won. It was crazy. Um, and I studied the hair, theatrical makeup and beauty course. So that was two years and then I decided to go into beauty because I preferred it a little bit more. So I did my level three in beauty. Um, that was 2016 when I left and then I just kept coming back to train. Basically the college let me use the facilities and stuff to just train for world skills. We've done so well here competition wise for I think five, six years, something like that. Um, so obviously they've been doing something right. <laughs> yeah, I came here because I know it was a good college. I knew I had other options. I wasn't even from Lewis. It took me two hours a day to get here. I had to leave at seven in the morning to get here at nine o'clock just because I knew it was a better college. I didn't want to um, settle for something average. I wanted to push myself because I know that they produce such lovely therapists and obviously with Kaya who won before me at the other competition you could you could see that they do really well. What an incredible closing ceremony and what's amazing is Rebecca has gone on to travel the world. In fact she's currently working in Australia. That's how we can help you here at ESC Lewis. Now right now I'm in one of our travel and tourism classes. This right here is our fuselage here on site, on campus, in one of the classrooms. And you're going to be able to learn firsthand about how to learn the skill set of air hostess, air stewarding, right here at East Sussex College, Lewis. Not only that, you're going to be able to travel across the world. You're going to be able to go and visit airports. And trips are so, so important for us here at East Sussex College, Lewis. Another course that get to go on trips a lot of the time are our public services students. They get to go all around Europe, they get to go on hikes, they get to go mountaineering, they get to do a lot of things, get to learn also about head knowledge as well, learning about the legal system, learning about mental resilience as well as that, learning about toughness, learning about how to get into the police force, then into the fire brigade, as well as a whole range of other services. Often sport link very closely with our public services students as well, they often go on lots of trips together. They get to go to see football stadiums, they get to go look at other kind of career options, not just within sport, but they get to learn about personal training, massage as well. And right here at East Sussex College we are so lucky to have an on-site gym, to have 3G football pitches, and we've also got a really close link with Lewis Football Club. Then like I said a little bit earlier on, trips are so, so key and our sports students go on a trip every single year, including this fantastic ski trip they went on last year. It won't be too long until we're able to go back onto the slopes. Now as you can see I'm in one of our performing arts rehearsal rooms. We've got many of these in our performing arts building. That's right, we have a dedicated building to music and performing arts. This is one of them and we have three specialisms for you to choose. Whether you are interested in dance, acting or musical theatre. So dance is about all about learning about technique. It's about learning about performance, whether that be contemporary, jazz or commercial dance, we're going to give you the skills to go into that industry. If you're interested in acting, then it's all about taking part in theatre projects. It's all about being part of local theatre community as well. And so we've got a specific route just for you. Or maybe you want to do what we're calling the triple threat, the musical theatre route. Whether that's dance, acting and singing. And every year you get to take part in a musical theatre performance right here at our theatre on campus. The shows are well attended, in fact each show is always sold out by family, friends and other visitors as well. Not only that, 
Whilst you study here at the college, you're gonna be able to go on trips to London and New York, which is always a massive hit with our students. And the other thing is, we also wanna talk about where students go on to. And we've had students go to universities and drama schools, whether that be Lambda, East 15, Chichester, Middlesex, Kent, Rose, Bruford, Lambda, many, many, many universities, many performing arts schools. And so if you're interested in performing arts, you don't want to just see me talking about it, you want to see it in action. And our students last year took part in a show called Wonderland, and here are the best bits. So my name is Morgan M. James, uh, I'm a singer, songwriter and content creator from Brighton. My time at Lewis Campus was amazing, like, I, I've met so many cool people, uh, I learnt so much, um, yeah, I had a really, really good time, I was quite sad to leave to be honest. All the, the music here was great, uh, the musical theatre was incredible, we had some great trips uh, and the photography like, comes in really useful as well with like, <laughs> like getting bits for Instagram now and stuff like that, just um, stuff for social media. Um, so yeah, great, it really, Lewis College did really help set up everything that I'm doing now which is great. So I got into music because I made some videos on Vine uh, and then I don't know, they went from there I just started posting some covers and I guess that's kind of how I got into music uh, and how I got to where I am at the moment I guess. So I reckon my first big success was uh, I put on my own headline show in Brighton, uh, which was really cool. I put it all on myself, uh, got together a band, uh, yeah, sold all the tickets, uh, and yeah, we sold it out in a week, which was like, it was mad. I'd say my style is very, uh, it's kind of acoustic driven pop, so it's very, very pop music, very kind of mainstream pop. In the next five years, uh, I want to just keep writing and releasing music, and hopefully just building up my platforms to bigger numbers and reaching more people. There's so much more I want to achieve, uh, there's so much more I want to do. Um, yeah, it's just, I guess it's just working every day, putting those 10,000 hours, and uh, yeah, hopefully just keep going and then get to the stage I'd like to, which would be, which would be great. Funnily enough, a lot of my songs are actually written on a bus. <laughs> like, I find uh, sometimes I sit down at my, like, my guitar or my like, piano or whatever and try and write lyrics, but nothing's really coming. But then if I'm sat on a bus, I'll be like, oh, there you go, like, an idea. And, like, a, lot of my, a lot of my songs are on like, my YouTube channel uh, and they've done quite well. Uh, I wrote on a bus, literally, I, yeah, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, but I, I really enjoy writing with other people as well. Uh, I think it's really important to get other ideas from other people. That's something I learned at Lewis College, like, collaboration is so important. So my advice for anyone that's at the college right now, I'd say just work hard, make sure that you're doing everything in your college, you're smashing it. Um, but I'd, I'd say if you want to get into music, it's so important just to do it. Uh, like there's so many people that are talking about how they want to like start a YouTube channel or they want to do music, but they're just holding back or they're reserving because they want to wait for the right time or they want to wait for something to happen. But yeah, the right time is now. It's so important just to jump in, do it and just see what happens. And if it doesn't work, then just keep trying and yeah, hopefully something will come of it. So I write songs all the time and definitely got enough for an album. It's, it's kind of, I want to, I'm going to be putting out a single very soon, uh, which I'm really happy with, but it's, it's, a, it's a six month process at the moment, so it's going to be coming out in February, but at the moment we're recording the, the main track, shooting a video for it, doing an acoustic version that will be coming out a month later, doing an acoustic video, getting all the PR sorted, getting like campaigns, like influences all together. Uh, yeah, it's a long process, but yeah, once the song comes out I'm really excited. Uh, and it's a song I'm really happy with as well that I'm excited to release. It's so good hearing from ESC alumni Morgan about his time here at East Sussex College Lewis. Now as you can imagine our final course we're looking at today is music and right now I'm in one of our music rooms. We're really lucky to have this main space here and three breakout rooms as well. That's a chance for you to learn more about your instrument, singing, maybe one-to-one -one support and we've got three of them in this building as well. We're very very lucky to have that. 
Now the thing with music that we love is we try and break it into three strands. Live music workshops, contemporary songwriting techniques and oral perception. Together those three areas are going to help you with your future, help you into your career, whether that's to go on to university, maybe that's to go straight into the industry. We are here to help you every step of the way and you'll be able to get taken part in workshops, in performances, whether that's here on campus or elsewhere in other places in East Sussex or Brighton. But thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you found it engaging, we hope you found it informative and fun. And if you still have more questions, then head over to escg.at.uk and you can even apply right now. Or if you want to know more about our courses, maybe you want to meet our tutors or meet some of the students here, then head over to esclive.co.uk and you'll be able to find out more and see them. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon.